I was fortunate because this, this era in the 70s was probably the heyday for creative bass playing, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Stanley Clark yeah. and Jocko and Alfonso yeah. Johnson. Yeah. yeah. These are all, you know, there hasn't been an era like that since, you know? And I was lucky because this is what I was listening to when I came up. And I always wanted to do my version of this at some point in my life. So this is the journey now. A lot of young bass players, they come to me and they say, man, I can play very well. My only problem is I don't have a style, right? I don't have my own style. How do I get my own style? And I remember uh, asking people that when I was young too, because that was the ultimate. Yeah. If you can play a note yeah. and people go, that's Marcus. Yeah. And I always w dreamed about having that. And playing with Miles really helped me with that because it was an environment where you were forced to come up with something original because the yeah. music was original. Yeah. You know, if you're in a band that sounds like Weather Report, <laughs> you can't help but play like the Weather Report bass plays, but when you get into a situation where it's new, it kind of forces you to try to find something new too. So that's what I tell a lot of young guys. I said, you know, try to put yourself in unusual situations yeah. and maybe you'll find something of yourself, you yeah. know. And this is what happened with me and Miles' band.
was three years with Miles. I talked about with Mike. Mike was here and we talked about this time. It was nice. As he said, that was very new to me. And suddenly I found myself in a completely different direction. Was that really the strong influence by Miles? Was it really? Well, you know, I think Miles was, he didn't tell anybody to do anything. It's just that people admire Miles so much and musicians admire him so much that you want to find something great in yourself to give to him. This is a wonderful opportunity. Everyone's listening. Everyone's tuned in. Why waste this opportunity? Let's play something that, yeah. you know, that's great. Let's find something in ourselves that's great. And I think that uh, anybody who plays with Miles feels this thing. You know, yeah. they feel like, you know, yeah. what, this is yeah. this is it, you know? Yeah. The Absolutely. opportunity is no yeah. better than this, so let's no. let's give it everything we have. You know? Here we go.
when I first started playing guitar, I was listening to, uh, you know, rock guitar. I mean, a lot of Hendrix. I love them, you know, and blues, a lot of blues. blues. Yeah. And Jeff Beck, too, and The Cream, and people like that. And then I got into jazz. My mom used to listen to a lot of jazz records, and so I, uh, I got into, into jazz and, and started getting into more jazz guitar players. And actually, for the last 10, 15 years, actually, I've been just trying to kind of get phrasing from other instruments you know, uh, horn lines and yeah, um, yeah. as much as I can on the, on the guitar and, uh, and uh, piano, you know, McCoy yeah. Tyner or Train or, you know, John yeah, Paul Train. I mean, to try, yeah, yeah, you but, know, I, I mean, transcribe solos, yeah. all that <laughs> yeah, stuff, yeah, I study right. this.
played with Billy Cobb at a powerhouse thing. Yeah. Shortly, I didn't. I don't think it's too long. And the bottom line of New York on miles. Well, I played in. with Billy almost almost a year, about nine, ten months, something like that. Yeah. And then, and then I, we were one of the gigs was at the bottom line. And I'd already played with Bill Evans, you know, great saxophone player. Great. And, uh, and Bill said, you know, if it doesn't work out with a guitar player that Miles had at the time, he said uh, he was going to bring Miles and have him hear me. You know, so Bill. I got a phone call at, at the break, you know, and Bill <laughs> said, guess who I'm bringing down to the bottom line? So, uh, so Miles showed up and, and uh, he liked what he heard, I guess, so I, I ended up playing with him for like three years. And that years. was the beginning when also Marcus Miller joined the band? Yeah, and, and the same thing, Al yeah. Foster, Marcus Miller, Mino Foster. Sinulo, and, and, and Bill Evans and, and Miles, and no, no, p no keyboard. No keyboard. Which scared me to death. <laughs> <laughs> but Miles said that's what he wanted. Yeah. He said, don't worry, just play, I'll hear it. You know?
fifth of whiskey. I was still can't remember. What ball I'm in? Take a place. Body on my knee. You will 